Hey guys, Darcy here, and today we're going to talk about nudging within Luna. Let's get into it. All right, so we have Luna here. We got a couple of different tracks. We have some MIDI, we have some wave or some audio track. And so we're going to um, look at what we can do with nudge here, okay? So first off, if you go up to this workflow up here, there's a three different options or four different options. Go to the third one which is your edit workflow. And in there you have your nudge section. So if we click time, we'll see that we have a series of five different ways we can make a nudge. We can start with grid, which means we will follow the grid. So if we were to look at what the grid is over here or use the short keys shift and plus and minus, we'll go up and down with the, the grid. So right now it's quarter note, we go to half note and we'll see that it's in lock with, for the nudging. And so if we wanted to nudge this at half note, let's say we click this whole MIDI region, we can either click this button here and it'll shift the whole thing, bring it back. We can click the other one, which will take it to of whatever measure that we're currently using. So right now, if we go half a bar, now we'll go a whole bar because two halves is a whole. So let's bring this back. Now, if we also grab the actual, didn't think about that playing in my ears. Uh, if we grab some of the MIDI and then we actually hit shift, will shift the actual MIDI notes with inside the actual MIDI clip. So that's another way in which we can go about this. So we'll Command Z this. Now, one other thing that I've noticed is if, let's say we go out of the edit mode and we select a region, it'll actually nudge our selection instead of the actual MIDI clip or audio region. So if you've almost got your selection right or you, you just wanna navigate around, you can use that. Now, obviously clicking these buttons, not exactly the funnest way to do this. So you have keyboard shortcuts and those are the period and the comma uh, for the left and right. So comma going left and uh, period going right. And then you also have M, which will go the two measures slash slash question mark, which will go two measures in the other direction. We can also, let's say, switch from grid to beats, which is the same thing as your grid, but you won't be in sync with the grid, so you can change your grid, but keep your nudging at a different measure. We also have time, which is in milliseconds. We have samples, and we also have ticks. Now, something to mention, let's say we choose time. Up here, we actually have the ability to text edit. So we could say, put in a whole number like 10, but we could also go like two. Whatever you choose though, it has to be a whole number. You can't do something like a decimal 2.5. It'll just end up reverting itself back to a whole number when I actually go to use it. So I'll go back to two. So we can also nudge audio regions the same way that we can when it comes to MIDI. That's pretty much it. It is just, you have the keyboard shortcuts and you have different ways to go about doing your nudging. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, let me know. If you have other questions or other thoughts as to how to use this, let me know and I'll be glad to jump on that. Otherwise, have yourself a good day. Peace, y'all.